What is good friends, back more World Cup round 2 aka quarterfinals, tricking from Team Italy versus Gypsy King from Oceania, we see Pukumuku Weewell stall and it's fake out Weewell, that damage tells us it's not Choice Bennett Weewell, so it's most likely Z-move Weewell is what I'm thinking. So Tricking doesn't know anything about this good ninja, it could potentially be Z-move, so I think he should not go hard into Chansey, I would probably either go into uh, Lari or into Zapdos, uh, yeah he does go into Zapdos, uh, Gypsy goes hard for Z-move and it's all up pummeling and he tried to snap the Chansey. And now Tricking can go into Chansey because after Greninja used the Z move, Chansey walls it forever. So um, Gypsy should know that Zapdos isn't staying in here because Tricking has to scout for Ice Beam. So Gypsy can just go for Spiky if he has that. Yep, both people make the correct play there, both players. Now Tricking could double back into Zapdos here to get a Defog off because Celesteela or Glisco is most likely going to come out from Gypsy's side. Or he can just go for Seismic Toss. Both are uh, fine plays. Uh, pretty sure the Greninja is not going to stay in though. This is just going to glisto to get Toxic Orb activated and now Gypsy just has to click U-turn uh, because if he clicks rocks then the Zapdos can just come out and defog the rocks and the spike away. Gypsy needs up the hazards to um, chip down Tricking's team. I think Tricking just goes for Estos again. I assume we see Celestia or Tangrowth come out here from Gypsy's side. It was hard into Medichem. Uh, Medichem is like his only way of killing Chansey so I don't know if I would have gone hard into it on a Seismic Toss. But yeah, um, we're going to see either High Jump Kick or Ice Punch here. Probably Ice Punch. Um, if Tricking's Pukumuku is not in and out, he has to try to get this Medichem in pursuit range from the Weavile. But he already has that Seismic Toss damage on the Medichem, so he doesn't really need much damage anymore on it. So that was definitely good for Tricking that he got that Seismic Toss off. But he goes hard in Pukumuku when we see it's level 90, which pretty much confirms that it's going to be in and out. Um, level 90 with minus defense, zero defense IVs, so it dies easier to months that he's weak to and then in and out kills them with the recoil. So Tricking can just click recover here. Gypsy cannot stay in. If he if Gypsy stays in and kills the Pukumuku, he loses his Medichem, which is his only way of killing the Chansey. So he has to switch into either Glisco or Celesteela here. I assume one of those two are gonna come out because uh, just in case Tricking clicks Toxic here, he doesn't want to go Tangrowth. Uh, but Tricking is most likely just gonna click recover here. Gypsy goes Glisco and yeah Gypsy just has to click U-turn again. Tricking is most likely gonna go Zapdos here because in case the Glisco doesn't go for U-turn here, the Zapdos can then defog the hazard away, the spike, but yeah, just just U-turn, and I think we're gonna see the Greninja come out, and then um, tricking is gonna have to scout for a potential Ice Beam, either go hard into Chansey or Roost with the Zapdos if the Greninja comes out. Yep, there's the Greninja, extra lefties. So now um, it's either go Chansey or Roost. I would probably just go hard into Chansey. because Gypsy is bringing this in on Zapdos, which is literally screaming Ice Beam, but he stayed in. I assume he went for Roost. Uh, that doesn't do too too much. So that was a fine play by Tricking, but I still would have gone hard into Chansey. Now Gypsy could potentially spike or double out into Medichem, knowing that the Chansey has to come out, because um, Tricking obviously sees that Ice Beam is doing more than Roost is healing, so he's definitely not going to stay in. So does he spike or double into Medichem? No, he just Ice Beams again. Now Tricking should just softball, keep the Chansey as healthy as possible. And yeah, Gypsy has to go back into Gliscor, Medichem, Celesteela, knowing that softball is going to come out. So Glisco just has to click U-turn again. Tricking is either gonna go Zapdos or stay in and click Seismic Toss. Um, it's pretty unlikely that Gypsy is gonna rock here. He pretty much is forced to spam U-turn all the time because he cannot let the Zapdos come in. Tricking knows that stays in and is most likely gonna click Seismic Toss. Celestia comes out. Now um, Tricking is just gonna go Zapdos. So Gypsy should pull a double here into maybe Greninja to not let the Zapdos defog for free. Um, but he just clicks lead sheet, which means Tricking now gets the chance to defog. Um, I, I just feel like Gypsy has to play this a bit more aggressive because he has that spike up, so he should be like doubling around, stuff like that. He goes hard match him, breaking the defog, which is a good play, gives him some extra health. But now Tricking can just go on the Pukumuku, and if Gypsy attacks and kills the Pukumuku, uh, his match him dies. So he pretty much has to double out again here, maybe into... Greninja to get up a spike or maybe into Glisco. Like I don't really know what what the play is for Gypsy. I have no idea. I don't think he can win this game at all. There's a hard matchup. Um what he could have done different is okay, Pukumu comes out. Does he attack? He just attacks, which means he's gonna let it in and out. So now he can't break the Chansey. Yeah, he just loses this game. Like his only way was um catching the Chansey off guard with the um Z move from the Greninja. So in my opinion he should have brought the Greninja in on the Chansey a few times and doubled it out. Um, he should have not gone for the Z-move early in the game because Tricking is a good player. Um, it was quite obvious to me that he was going to scout for the Z-move. Really cool how Tricking played this. 
Okay, I'm back now. The seed for a second. Tricking goes Wee while Gypsy goes Coco. Um, Tricking gets a safe fake out of. Gypsy is now just gonna click U turn. Also, the team that Gypsy is using, I haven't talked about it yet. It's a team that Blunder made. The only changes he made, he made the leftovers. He made the Coco leftovers instead of Z move. And he made the Greninja Protein Z move instead of Specs Battle Bond. Tricking goes into Zapdos there, knowing that the Coco is never gonna click electric move when he has an Excadrill in the back. Now he can either go Wee or Chansey. Gypsy is either gonna go for Spike or Ice Beam here. Goes hard into Wee well knowing that um, it can take an ice beam and if he goes for spike he gets it in for free now you can just click icicle crash gypsy has to switch into either the celestealer or the tapu coco icicle crash is pretty free here um but yeah this this game is heavily in tricking's favor if you ask me gypsy has no way of breaking chancy the only way he can do any damage to tricking's team is yeah he needs to have to keep that spike up and double around pretty much is what he has to do so coco comes out takes 60 i mean 59 Technically, this um, Weaver can eat a hit from the Coco, but I still don't think he wants to stay in here. I assume he's just going to go back Zapdos or into Excadrill. So Gypsy is either going to roost here or go for U-turn. Excadrill seems like a fine play, uh, because if he roosts, then you get to rapid spin the next turn. And if he U-turns, it's still not that bad. Like, the thing is, like, Gypsy kind of needs to U-turn, um, get the spike off, uh, keep the spike on the field is what I meant. But he also kind of has to risk to keep this healthy because otherwise he can't switch this into Weewa. Um, tough, tough scenario here. So Tricking can just rapid spin as Coco went for the roost there. You turn out most likely into Glisco that can then threaten out the Excadrill with a potential earthquake and most likely get up the rocks for Gypsy. I assume this Excadrill is the rocker and not the Chansey on Tricking's team. But yeah, I would just, I would personally just go into Zapdos here if I'm Tricking. Um, he could. Like, he can also get up rocks with the Excadrill because I think if he gets up rocks, that might allow the Weavile to to it KO um, the Celesteela with Isaac Crash into Z move maybe after rocks. Um, not exactly sure. So he's gonna rapid spin. I don't know why he allowed the Excadrill to take an earthquake. Maybe he break the U turn there. Um, but now he definitely has to switch. He goes hard into Weavile expecting the rocks. <laughs> Wild play. And now he can just click Isaac Crash. It's pretty free. Um, he could also click hard Z move, but I assume he wants to save that. Because, yeah, Gypsy, like hard Z move would cover Gypsy going into Coco here because it would OCO the Coco in one hit. But having the Z move to kill the Celesteela easier after you chip it down a bit uh, would be cool as well. Like, I don't remember how healthy the Celesteela is. If the Celesteela dies after rocks to Icicle Crash and the Z move, then uh, with rocks up, then rocks might have been a correct play. But I personally would have just kept rocks of the entire game if I was tricking. Like, there's no way Gypsy would have ever gotten up rocks if he just went into Zapdos on the rocks and defogged. Because this, uh, um, this score is just U turn, Earthquake, Roost, rocks. Like, it doesn't have Toxic or anything for the Zapdos. So, tricking could have just defogged forever. Pressure makes it so that he has more defog than the Glisco has rocks. So Icicle Crash is gonna come out or Z move. If he Z move, this Coco is gonna die in one. But yeah, just Icicle Crash doesn't make sense. And now he might want to stay in here because, like I said earlier, he can live a hit. And now that this Coco is low, Icicle Crash again pretty much guarantees him a kill. I think. Well, it doesn't guarantee you a kill because I don't remember how healthy the Celestia is. But if you Icicle Crash again, he might want to Z move here actually because if you Z move. The Coco can't roost because then it dies and if the Steeler comes out it gets low. But yeah, he does just use the Z-move. And now Icicle Crash would probably kill. Like, it, it might be a roll. But the thing is, if Gypsy protects here, then it doesn't. It probably doesn't kill. So it's... I think the protect um, is... Like, tricking is fearing the protect. So tricking is gonna go Zapdos here is what I'm trying to say, right? So Gypsy could... Leech Seed predicting that. Um, Gypsy is obviously going to run the Kalk. If he can live an Icicle Crash from here, then he has no reason to kick Protect and he's always going to Leech Seed. But if he can live it, then it's a bit risky, but I would still click Leech Seed because the Zapdos is super obvious. Okay, Zapdos is in. And Zapdos is just going to have to roost here. Uh, so Tricking could predict that and go for Flamethrower, but he goes for Protect, anticipating a Defog. But I think the Roost was like super obvious. Um, but yeah, to be fair, I don't think it matters too, too much. This uh, game is super in Tricking's favor. So now Tricking should just defog. Um, yeah, like, I would have played this different. He goes Mega Lottie instead, okay? Which uh, breaks the Gliss score, and now he can just click Ice Beam, I guess. So he didn't want to have the Zapdos in while tri while Gypsy goes Gliss score, and then... Yeah, you just click Ice Beam here. Gypsy doesn't have a switch in, because his Celestia is super low with... Like, it, it's, it's chipped a bit. Like, 
See, so this Leon might die if this has Bolt Beam Lottie, if this is Bolt Beam Lottie, but I assume it's just Ice Beams. It might be Ice Beam Surf, T Bolt Recover. Uh, it might also be Double Defog, which means it would be Defog, um, Ice Beam Surf. But he has Earthquake instead of Surf, wow. So he's using Earthquake, um, brings the Coco low, and yeah, this game been over. <laughs> Like, Gypsy clicks Roost again, but Earthquake is just gonna do too much, like, he had to, like... I mean, he tried to not ha catch him on a non-Earthquake, but Tricking had no reason to not click Earthquake again. I guess he tried to predict uh, Ice Beam there, in case Tricking predicted him to go in the Celesteela. But yeah, um... Celesteela comes out, Celesteela can click Leech Sheet here. Tricking can either switch, or if this is Defog, then he can Defog... Yo! <laughs> he has Defog on Zapdos on Ladi, and he has Spin on Drill. Yeah, like... I get how like how tricking played that, but I would have played it different. I would have just made it so the rocks would have never went up. And yeah, the game might have taken a bit longer the way I would have played it, but it would have been a safe route to victory. Um, but yeah, he, he def he's definitely playing well. I'm not saying he's playing bad. I especially love him scouting for Z-Move early on in the game. Like, uh, like there was this Gypsy's main way of winning was catching the Chansey with the other pummeling from Greninja, and he had to click it the correct turn. Um, to be fair, it's like hard to get it on the correct turn, but um, just clicking... Spikes and doubling Greninja out the entire game on Chansey to make it think you don't have a move to hit the Chansey. I think that's how he should have played it. And then, um, like, double Greninja in on Zapdos, click Ice Beam, click Ice Beam, then switch it out on Chansey and do that a few times and then eventually click all the pummeling when Chansey is in range. Um, I think that would definitely be the correct play. But I understand why he made that play because it's a team that Blunder made and not everyone would have scouted for it. Some people might have just gone hard Chansey. Because they think it's Ash Greninja and then just go hard Chansey. I'm not really narrating anymore. Um, like I said, I would have played this endgame different, but Tricking definitely played it. Like his way wasn't wrong. He still made the fine plays and he's gonna win this game for sure. And I think Team Italy needs one more win after this to um, make it guaranteed into um, semi finals. The last game is gonna be Low Pony Kicks versus. Um, Tricking can just click uh, Seismic Toss here as. Either Tangros or Steela has to come out. But yeah, the last game is gonna be um, Googly vs. Lopani Kicks in a few hours. Which is gonna decide if Italy goes to semifinals or if the other team wins Oceania, then there's gonna be a tie break. Um, I hope Italy hard wins. I don't wanna see a tie break. That makes it unnecessarily longer. So you can just click Seismic Toss again here. Softballs plays it extra safe. Also a fine play. Now he has to switch out because he doesn't want to let this get knocked. I guess at this point it doesn't matter. Yeah, at this point it doesn't matter. So he was willing to let the he was willing to let the chance he get knocked. Um, at this point it really doesn't matter anymore if his chance he gets knocked off. And yeah, this game is over. So he can just spam seismic toss because if this doesn't get if this gets parried then he can seismic toss it down um, if this gets a lead sheet off though then Celestia gets a, a lot of health back but I understand why he's doing that because if the Stila doesn't if the Stila gets parried then he wins the game faster than if he switches out right so only six lead sheet left Celestia is gonna run out of PP eventually there's the Zapdos um, do we see a double lead sheet we know we will never know what we see there I assume we just see um, Gypsy go for a flamethrower or a heavy slam so Zapdos can go for Discharge or Roost, yep, and he might want to switch into Chansey here and keep the leftovers on the Zapdos, not exactly sure. Well, he can just go Mega Lottie, yeah. <laughs> Mega Lottie is like, this, this, like the best, the better play of them all, I don't know why I didn't consider that, but he just Ice Beam here or Roost, yeah. I would have Ice Beam personally, um, but to be fair, it doesn't fucking matter, like, Tricking had this game one, like, in my opinion, he had the game one turn two, actually. <laughs> Which is crazy. Like at first we didn't knew, know exactly because we had to like wait a bit and see how it plays out. But after um, like we know all the sets and everything, it was pretty obvious Gypsy had no way of killing the Chansey after he used the other pummeling. Because his only other way is would be Medicham and Medicham could never do anything because of the innards out Pukumuku. Like even if he kept doubling out the Medicham he would not have accomplished anything. That was just a tough matchup for Gypsy but I still love how Tricking played it. I'm repeating myself here though, like I said, I would have played different, but I love how he played it himself, like how he played it in his own way is what I meant.